Hi guys, welcome back to the Alaska Cannabis Institute Network. My name is Corey Ray, and today I wanted to talk about the meeting that's coming up on Tuesday, December 16th. It's the Anchorage Assembly meeting where they're going to be hearing public testimony about the ordinance to ban marijuana facilities within the municipality of Anchorage. And again, that's at the Lusak Library. And essentially, uh, Ms. Dimboski, she's introduced an ordinance at their last meeting um, to ban marijuana facilities, and they're going to be debating that. They're going to have public testimony where people can uh, share their perspective. They've got three minutes to do so. And kind of what I wanted to talk about was kind of how to approach um, the folks and, and what to say to the assembly board. Uh, really what I would do is just kind of recognize and thank them for their uh, opportunity to, to hold the hearing, um, you know, identify and recognize the transparency that they're doing it, you know, public testimony style versus, you know, behind closed doors. But then also, you know, Remind them that the their proposal to, to ban marijuana is, is quite premature. The legislature hasn't even had time to de begin to develop rules or regulations. So there are a lot of different uh, tactics that the legislature and even the local municipalities can take besides banning marijuana. They can use zoning ordinances. They can use um, permitting, licensing. And so just remind the assembly that these are other tactics that can be used to essentially regulate where marijuana is sold and how it's sold within the municipality, but you don't have to outright ban it. A little bit about Ms. Domboski. Uh, she's a first term assembly woman. She was voted in in 2013. Her term expires in 2016. However, she is running for mayor of Anchorage in 2015 prior to her term expiring. Um, that vote is on April 7th. Um, I'm not sure if she's, you know, banning marijuana because she's looking for name recognition or, you know, she really believes in it. But as a Republican, and, and Ms. Domboski is, uh, and generally Republicans don't believe that government knows what's best for them. So, so politely remind uh, Ms. Domboski that, you know, the people voted not too long ago, November 4th, less than a month and a half ago, to legalize marijuana. And is she telling us that government knows best? That this 11-person assembly knows what's best for the 200,000 people that came out to vote? The over 780,000 people that live in Alaska, majority of which live in Anchorage? 40% of Alaska's population live in the municipality of Anchorage. And we just voted to legalize marijuana. Is Ms. Domboski, somebody who believes in small government, really believe that government knows what's best and this 11 person assembly knows what's best for the people so i would politely um, ask her that use different you know approaches some people will will uh, come up there and and you know uh describe to uh the panel and, and the assembly why marijuana should you know maintain its legality um everybody needs to be respectful everybody needs to speak intelligently um, however, some people should ask questions of the assembly, why they think banning the marijuana and, and marijuana businesses is appropriate, uh, what their goal is, what they um, uh, you know, aim to achieve. I know Ms. Domboski is on record saying that she wants to protect the federal money that comes to uh, the municipality. You know, I would ask her, does she have any evidence of Washington, Colorado, or even Oregon for that matter losing federal dollars? Um, so not... You know, don't just share your perspective, but also go try to understand their perspective. Ask them questions. Why do they think it's, you know, necessary to ban marijuana facilities? Um, and finally, you know, just a little bit about Ms. Domboski. She does represent Eagle River and Chugiak. Um, again, she is conservative. She is married to Ben Domboski, the, the fire captain of the, the Anchorage uh, Fire Department. So, um, again, be respectful. Uh, you know, she's probably doing her best. Her husband, you know, represents the fire department, so he puts his life on the line every single day. So they are good people. Um, just under, try to understand where they're coming from and, and be intelligent when you articulate your points. Um, in the meantime, my name is Corey Ray with the Alaska Cannabis Institute, and that meeting is on December 16th, begins at 6 p.m. at the Lusak Library. 
and the address for that is 3600 Denali Street in Anchorage. If you can't make it, um, you can write in, and the address for that is um, P.O. Box 196650, Anchorage, Alaska 99519, and address the, the letter and the envelope to the Anchorage Assembly, Barbara A. Jones, who's the municipality clerk. Um, again, if you can't make it, you can uh, write to that address or you can email them at www, uh, excuse me, wwmas at muni.org. So that's wwmas at muni.org. Signing off, this is Corey Ray. See you guys soon.